but check out the real main event. Hi! Having fun? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesse Lorienti and today I'm joined with my girlfriend Karen. And uh, we're going to be unboxing this PCS Collectibles Poison statue. Uh, Karen is the big Street Fighter fan of the yeah, two of us. Guilty of that. Um, yeah, I like Street Fighter a lot. And when I see when we first seen Poison, we were like, "Wow, she's really pretty." And well, I liked her face a lot, and she's really sexy. And we, and it was a last minute thing. And then when we got her, I was really happy. Uh, I did say her. So one thing to talk about, I guess we should address it for anyone that doesn't know or wants to correct me. There's a lot of controversy surrounding poison. We don't really see it as a big issue, mm -hmm. but it's a hot debate all over the place. So, poison originally debuted in 1989 uh, in a game called Final Fight with her and her friend Roxy, and they're from the same orphanage together. And Japan basically was worried how an American audience would take men hitting women. So they decided to make Poison a transgender female, and then they decided all together to just s replace Roxy and Poison with Billy and Sid for the American release of the game. So there's been a lot of talk about what Poison is, what, who, she, he, she, whatever it may be, but we think whatever Poison is, whether she's a transgender female or just a female we think she's sexy and we can't wait to open the statue mm -hmm. all right well then i won't ask you you know i'll just we'll just gloss over it mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying all right so box art you got her on the front we did not get the exclusive the exclusive comes with an extra head i'm a little sad we didn't get it i think yeah she's smiling in the exclusive head yeah, we kind of are debating Roxy now, because neither one of us really ever played Final Fight. We just know what happened with the whole ordeal, because anyone who kind of knows about Street Fighter or Poison kind of knows there's a controversy with her. But Poison, Poison started fighting at a young age as a member of the Mad Gear Gang in Metro City. When the gang collapsed, Poison began working as a wrestling manager, albeit with limited success, her clients were low-level talent, and the local wrestling events they took part in couldn't compete with the new and exciting Sin Tournament. S-I-N, Sin, I'm not sure which one. Frustrated, Poison went to check out the tournament, where she ran into her former Mad Gear cohort, Hugo. The two partnered up, combining Poison's brains and Hugo's brawn to succeed in the Sin Tournament, and eventually dominate the world of professional wrestling. Alright, so... Anyway, with Pop Culture Collectibles, we became huge fans after noticing this statue. Right here we have our Certificate of Authenticity. We bought this really late in the game, but number 244 or 300, nice little card. Uh, Karen actually bought me Goro, and it's completely paid off. It's a one-fourth mixed media statue. He's wearing real clothes and such, but uh, he's been paid off forever, and I bought her Chun-Li one-third, and she's been paid off forever. We kind of regret not getting the three-pack of Chun-Li because I think all outfits are badass. Guy, I'm not a big fan of her pants one, though. The alpha one. But the that's, alpha that's just me because, you know, when I see chicks in uh, fighting games, I like a Mortal Kombat style. I'm more of a Mortal Kombat guy, not so much a Street Fighter. Uh, I, I grew up with Sega. I know that might be kind of like heresy to some people, but whatever. Yeah, I grew up with uh, Super Nintendo, so Street Fighter was the first uh, fighting game that I ever played. And King of Fighters was the second, but uh, yeah, I'm a Street Fighter girl. Oh, wow, she's pretty big. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll start. Oh, her base is really sunk in there. Wow, that thing is heavy. All right, so 
We got the bottom. Street Fighter Ultra, one fourth, Poison, two hundred forty four, three hundred PCS collectibles. So recently, if people don't know, uh, PCS collectibles had a bit of a merger with Sideshow Collectibles. I don't think this will change much of what's going on. Uh, if you don't know, I kind of have a, a fear of Sideshow Collectibles at the moment, but uh, just their products. I feel like they aren't what they used to be. I still have some things on order and I've talked about it, but if you see my recent video before this one of the Gotham Nightmare Batman, it's an awesome piece, but a bit disappointing in some aspects. Oh, wow. How oh, cool. Go ahead and show you her red high heels. You can see right here. Her, uh, her shorts are fixed. She has a mixed media top on though. We're gonna hook her in. See, now this is what I'm talking about. PCS Collectibles gets it. They're gonna hide her seam line with a choker. Something they didn't even try to do with their newest Gotham Nightmare Batman. Uh, you know, I thought I was overreacting about the seam line, but uh, everyone else who's bought it and reached out to me has validated the way I feel about it. Here's her face. Very nice. Go ahead. Just double magneted. Oh, she's cool. pretty. Yeah. Nice. Gonna, they're even going to hide her seam line again with her hat. Yeah. Even right here on the, on the you know, separates the hair, the face from the yeah. hair. Yeah. Yeah. And then her little whip. <laughs> Very cool. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, wow. How neat. So, oh, geez, those would fit you. They wouldn't fit me. They gave you gloves to uh, touch her with, I guess. That's that's a first. Yeah. I've, I've never seen a statue company do that. But that's, that's classy. I dig it. Uh, like we said, though, this is our very first PCS Collectibles statue. We've been waiting forever for two others, so, yeah. I mean, it's not for lack of trying. Let's go ahead and... So she is a heavy piece. How cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, so down here, see the high heels? Go up to her extremely thick legs. This is cool because it's actually a, a chain. She's got these little handcuffs that hang to her little top. How cool. This is definitely a nice statue. How cool. She is heavy. I told you. If we knew where our turntable was at the moment, we would have put her on it. You can see back here where her shirt, her little top goes on back. She's got back dimples in there. We <laughs> put detail in the spots where you're not even going to yeah. see her butt cheeks hanging out. <laughs> oh, her hair is cool. Mm -hmm. oh, it's nice. It's thick. This is a heavy piece. Look at those calves. <laughs> Ever since seeing the movie Hostel when that guy gets his Achilles cut, it's always kind of grossed me out. <laughs> oh, she is cool. Get a cleavage shot. Just for anyone that's kind of wondering, we did peek. There is no nipple. <laughs> yeah, and you can see right there, Jesse stretched it out. No. <laughs> that's how it is. <clears throat> I do like, though, how it's like pulling. Yeah. 
You know, on the front? Yeah, they, it's uh, to the side. Yeah, they have it hang. And this side too. It's like, you probably is meant to stretch. You it know? is. Yeah. There we go. Because it's hanging. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead. So you can see right here, they want you to have it barely hanging on her. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, she looks even cooler now. Yeah. How cool. Very cool. So, if you're asking should you buy this poison statue, I say definitely. For the price point, for what you get, for, I mean, she's durable she's heavy she's everything like this is this is a really nice statue in, a, in my uh opinion but oh i think she even looks cooler now with her mm -hmm. she's buff look yeah, at her shoulder and her traps yeah well guys i hope you enjoyed this video of uh karen and i unboxing poison and uh I hope you tune in for more. You can find I'll leave some links in the the bottom. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Karen's under K Wow on Instagram. I'm under Win Seven Two Zero. We're part of a bunch of statue uh, groups now on Facebook. I've joined that world and uh, reach out to us. Check out Karen's channel. I'll put a link in the description down below. And you guys remember, keep buying toys. Ha <laughs> ha